What a beautiful sunset in Seven Days to Die right before Horde. What's going on guys? Welcome to the video. Before we get started, I'd like to just shout out today's sponsor, which is Island. Islands is a free to play game on Steam, Windows Store, mobile, pretty much everywhere. And it is a open sandbox where you can build, craft and create anything you want at all. Anything your mind can think of, you can make. And then you can share these maps with your friends and play mini games, race games, pretty much anything you want to do. And not only that, these maps that you create can be submitted into a competition they're having right now, where the first place prize is like 3000 dollars so if that's something that interests you check that top link in the description down below but you guys only have till december 14th to create and submit your map so get started right now and this is the first of many rounds that they're going to be hosting so you still have more opportunities in the future so get familiar with the game in case one of these happens again but again again just check that link down below join the competition create an awesome map and uh we'll see you in the video just gonna record during the night in case they decide to approach during the night. But as for right now, this is gonna be the tree that I chill in. I'm gonna flee north if they find me. Maybe just take the fight, see if we win. But I'm mainly just gonna keep an eye on the roof during most of the day. Just to see if that fires off or if they even, maybe they see it and they head up there and I'll still have a shot on them regardless. It's a trap in both directions. Whether or not they come, I don't know. I mean, obviously me telling them exactly where I am, they should know this is leading into a trap. I don't know. If you guys are just joining us, click that sub button, so notification icon, the playlist link down below. I'd definitely check out the last episode uh, where we found them, spotted them, and laid this trap where we are now going to pretty much wait for them to see if they come into the trap or not. Um, I'm pretty sure I locked the ammo. It's aimed up. It's ready to go. If it's not, maybe they'll see the turret and head up there and I'll snipe them anyway, but... That's the plan. We're going to spend a lot of time just sitting right here in this bush, listening and staring. And if they don't come by, I mean, the end of the night, I'm going to have to find somewhere quick to uh, survive Horde. Because it is Horde night. All right, it's almost daytime. Let's see if they do follow my signs or not. This could be a very boring episode or an extremely exciting one. I don't really know yet. I know I'm definitely going to tell them exact location after this horde. We discussed that last time. But at the same time, it's like, I don't want to end. I want to keep playing. This is fun. But I guess we could get on to season three. The thing is, if I kill them, I could just keep going. I could just loot them and move on. Just take their ammo. Make it more difficult for them. And then start laying, like, tons of traps. Maybe they'll have money on them. Or I could just sell their stuff. Buy even more traps and set a whole bunch of them. Maybe try some motion sensor traps. Places that aren't looted yet is going to be the best pot for traps, obviously, because they'll randomly come across them looting. But here it is, the morning, day 14, second horde. We can kill some of them, not all of them. We could always use the SMG turret and set up with that too. Kill a crap ton of zombies, get a boatload of XP. But now we sit in our tree. And we wait. A good way to tell maybe is if they're traveling is if their zombie count is going up like crazy. So 371 on Christian. 354 on Boomer. And then it's... We'll check every once in a while to see if it's going up. If it's not going up a ton, then they're not looting. If it's going up a whole bunch, then they're looting somewhere. And their chances of showing up here are going to be pretty slim. I'm a little afraid to eat. I'm else this is my last four cans of sham. Gonna have to head up a trader again and buy some. Been trying to buy as much sham as I can. 371, 354 still has not. Nothing, nothing's changed here. Christian has leveled up though, right? Did he? I thought he was 17 yesterday. Not sure though. There's a zombie coming up. I don't like this. I'm going to take the burning shaft mod off just because it's like, kind of gives you away. Big bright light.
Also, if they do follow my signs and they do get killed by the trap, hopefully Carly will splice it in. Assuming they even do. I don't even know what they're going to do. Could be circling me right now. Could be coming from the opposite direction. Could be doing a multitude of things. I could just be looting. Let's see their zombie count. Boomer has gone up. Christian has not. Hmm. He was at 341, so he's actually killed a good... 341, I think it was? Oh, he just got a zombie kill. It's not going up rapidly, though, so I wonder if they're looting or if they're just running down the street killing stuff. Boomers did go up a good amount. All right, I'm getting impatient. If they were in Deersville, they would have been here by now. Hmm. Do I leave the trap here and spend the horde on passing gas? Could very well do that. And then they'll show up the day after. Or they could be on their way. They could be scoping me out. I don't know, man. This is such a anxiety-fueled session so far. I don't know what to do. Well, I'm going to at least go back on the roof real quick. Let's make sure that this turret's locked in. I keep thinking like I didn't... Oh, God, that scared me. I keep thinking like I didn't do it. I didn't lock it in. It's not set to kill humans. I don't know yet. Let's head back up in there and make sure. What kind of gasoline did that use? Oh, God. that Yeah, that's going to be on literally forever. Oh, it's locked in. 150 shots staring at the road. There's signs right there. All right. Um, hmm. Kind of want to head to the snow and check out the snow trader. I'm not sure exactly where it is, but I want to see if we can get more traps. I mean, we laid the sign. So if they find the signs, they'll follow the signs and they'll get killed by the trap. As long as it renders. I assume it will once they get close to it. But let's just leave the trap there. Maybe we could set another one. We can come back and pick it up if that trap does not seem successful. But me sitting around and waiting, I don't think really is going to do much. I'm going to go try to find the snow trader. See if we can buy some more food. See what kind of uh, items he's got. Because we haven't been there yet, actually. Found the trader. I know they've been here before. We had a conversation. Boomer said he was here at one point. So that's kind of funny. We're both where we've been. We've both been here before. But I'm going to check this out. What do you got for food? Got some salmon. Beef rations and stuff. Okay, we'll buy those if we uh, need to. Distance. What do you got for sale, my guy? Ooh, a shotgun auto turret. That would be really nice. If we could sell enough things for it. A full chainsaw. Hand grenades. Great heist. Jesus. 75k. We could get a gyrocopter. If we were psychopathic. I'm going to sell these. There's no way I'm crafting an auger at this point. We're not going to craft the turrets. We're just going to purchase them. I'd love to set up an electric fence at this place. Let's do that. You best be on your way. Wow, what a view up here. Glad I could see it with my pal Christian. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay. Shotgun auto turret again would be really cool, but... Mm. Is what it is. All right, let's sell you. Let's sell you. 2,800. I don't think there's anything else I really want in here. Armor piercer pistol ammo would be really nice for that SMG turret, but at the same time, time nah, we're fine. Let's head back and let's set up some electric fence traps around that place or in that place. Just really set them up funny. And, uh,. I might just say that's where I am. Might Because he wants to know exactly where I am after Horde. We'll spend the Horde at the Passing Gas, and then maybe we'll go over to the Electronics Store. And uh, that's where we'll hold off when they come to attack us. I could still sit on the hill behind it, but is that technically lying? I don't want to be like a here and be like, I'm here, and then sit on the hill behind it. You know what I mean? But I mean, that's where I am. Driving back in right now also might be literally a death sentence because they could be there and I could just roll up right now. Also, once I set up these electric fence posts, there's really... I'm going to set them up in a way that they block the ladder on the way up. So... And once I set them, it's pretty much that's... It, it's stuck there because the generator... I mean, I could just frame up, obviously. But... 
I'm going to set them up so they block the ladder. So they maybe if they don't frame up. And then I'm going to put one maybe like across the front door somewhere or something like that maybe. I was thinking setting them up right here. Right? So that way when you come up this you get zapped. I think that's a good idea. So that's now it should be electrified, right? Yep, it's blue. So that's electrified. They come up that ladder, they will get zapped. And then I could set some up on the front door and just hook them up to the SMG turret. But the problem with that is I'll have a, a line going across there. So I don't necessarily want to do that. But that's good for blocking that. So that's all trapped up. So there's really no way for them to get up here now. All right, we're going to have to head to the top of that passing gas then. And uh, set it up for Horde. Or at least start clearing the zombies up there. Because I do need somewhere to spend Horde. Hello, zombies. Welcome, welcome. Just going to shoot them with the arrows to stay quiet. There's a lot up here, though. Mildly concerning. Here we go. You got one right through the neck hair. The neck hair? Through the neck hole. And you're still walking. I'm really bad at this. Here we go. Come on, zombie. I just want to get to the roof of this place. To see if it's survivable. Okay. This is why we melee. I have bad aim. Alright, let's go up. Oh god. Okay. Probably shouldn't be shooting, but it is a, pur a purchase? It is a dog? Why did my brain just think pur think dog and say purchase? What the heck? The human brain is a wonder. I don't have a shotgun, so that doesn't help me. I do need food. I didn't purchase any. There we go. Got a little bit. I don't see them, but that render distance thing kind of angered me a little bit. So I wonder how many times we've kind of like walked right past each other. There's like a very easy way up here for zombies. I really don't like that. We could farm them right here. Because they'd have to come up this ladder, right? Oh, my God, it's a feral. It scares me. I don't want to die to a zombie. That would just be kind of embarrassing. Alright, so we'll leave that staircase there. I'm going to... How long is it going to take to break this ladder? This is such an ex exposed position. But if I break this ladder, I could just shoot the zombies right off this edge. They should path up here. And I can get a lot of XP off this horde. I think I'm going to go up in Pack Mule a little bit. Oh, that just collapsed. I think pack mule is a decent choice, just so I can hold a little bit more. I did just level up, but I'd have to go up in strength. Pack mule's right here. There we go. We literally have one missing slot, which is really nice. But we need to be careful still. I just want to break this ladder, get off of this roof, and we'll leave the staircase on the other side, and we can just jump our way up during horde. Take it down on horde. But they should, like I said, track all the way up here and then I can kill them for XP. It's gonna be a lot of ammo, but at the same time, I think it's fine. We got plenty to go around. What's your footsteps? I'm always scared with the zombie or a person. I'm not here yet, though. And if they're not here yet, they're not coming. Because they were in Deersville. I guess they laughed when I said they're in Deersville, so maybe they're not in Deersville? Maybe they went in a different direction? I don't know, but I'm almost certain they're in Deersville. They could just be throwing me off their scent. And if they were in Deersville, then... I mean, they should have been here almost instantly. If they Maybe if they don't believe me? I, I don't know. This is kind of a little angering. That's fine. Let's go scout a little bit. Let's see their zombie count. Oh, wow. Chris, yep. Yeah, they're 
Going up in zombie count, that's for sure. So they're clearing buildings still. All right, so they're either in Deersville clearing buildings or they're looting somewhere else, but I don't think they're near me. Obviously, we have our trap laid. So I would really hope that they walk into it. But I don't really know where I'm headed right now. I'm just kind of going towards the outskirts here. Oh, that's a cool building right there. Let's go see what's going on over there. Because like I said, I want to maybe tell them that I'm in a house outside of there. And maybe they'll walk past the signs and walk into the trap. This doesn't seem like a very powerful location. Surrounded in hills. That's really dangerous. All right, this is the edge of the map. So let's turn it around. Maybe I'll head a little self, see what's going on down there. You know what I'll tell them? I'll tell them there's a sign. There's a sign at that location. And it tells them exactly where I am. That's what I'm going to do. Maybe? No, they're not going to follow that. Why would they follow that? They'd be stupid. They'd be stupid as heck to follow that. I'll just... I'll, all I'm going to give them is, Deersville, follow the signs. That's what I'll give them. And then hopefully they run into that, that, that trap. I'd like to set up a base and get, like, even crazier stuff going. I'd like to blade trap some floors and add some false floors to stuff. That'd be really cool. But that'll only happen if I don't die after giving them my location. Because I'm going to stay there. The signs will lead them to me. I'm not going to lie. But it will also lead them into a trap. All right, we're heading into the burnt biome. It's a little too far out of the way of where my trap has been laying. Lane? Laid. So... I don't think this is going to happen, but let's scope it out a little bit. Doesn't look like there's much going on here. I could loot this, but like we have enough loot. We're good. And we're heading all the way into the desert, which again, this is just a little too far out of the way. So let's just go ahead, head back to where we were. I could just loot this. I could. Might as well. What else are we going to do, right? Might as well loot this and then head back for Horde. Let's we'll see what's happening here. Ooh, food. That's actually really nice. Cool. We open. Open for business. Baseball bat schematic. I mean, cool. Hello. Well, I'm pretty sure that hit you, but, you know, I didn't develop this video game, so who am I to say? Calm down. Calm down there, zombie. Mean you no harm? Not at all. Not trying to kill you? No, sir. No kills are happening. I am really paranoid right now. I'm like head on a swivel. Really paranoid. Mainly looking for food. Just excess food. But I mean, I'll take what I can get. But excess food is the name of the game right now. One big thing for PvP is prioritizing your hotbar, man. Just in case you get into a situation. I got first aid kits. I got the recog for added damage. I got the four bites for more fortitude. I got the mega crush to zoom out of there to get to my bike. Really got to prioritize that. Because if you get jumped and you can't get out, that's a problematic situation. You lose the series. Also, next series is definitely going to be permadeath. Like, full on permadeath. You die to zombies, whatever. No team has unlimited deaths, nothing like that. Straight up permadeath. Which does make it, I mean, mildly more difficult. Oh, reinforced chest in here? Really? Oh, a level 3 hunting rifle. That's a good sell, actually. Could put on the higher level padded chest armor. Actually, we have a level 6 already. We can sell that, though. Eh, 92. Who cares? Gunpowder. Actually, like, landmines aren't that expensive. Like, we could make a few landmines just off of that gunpowder right there. So that's really, actually a really cool find. But we may have to set up the landmines after Horde just so zombies don't accidentally step on them and get rid of them. But let's keep looting. That was really, actually really good loot. Oh, hello there. Not taking any risk with the big boy. You hit me, I start bleeding, you know, there's zombie rolls up, roaming horde, dead, you know? Anything can happen. Hello, anyone home? Are you in here? No? Hello? No zombies defending this place, heck yeah. It's 
nice, that's nice. That was the crappiest ammo pile I've ever seen in my entire existence. This is a cheese recipe? Cornbread. Cheese recipe? You know, you make cheese, you just leave out milk. That's how you make cheese. Aha! Hello, hoodie zombie. Thank you for letting me into your home. I will now take your home. And I always try to play the little game of trying to grab the things behind the behind the walls instead of breaking them. I got a comment about that. They were like, why do you do that? I was like, it's just a little game I like to play. It's a game within a game. You know? I mean, I'm just going to... Actually, ruins water, though. I was going to say, I could just pop it right now. But at the same time, whatever. Uh, but it's a game within a game, and we're playing The Hunt, which is a game I made up for this game. So we're playing a game within a game within a game. Gameception. All right, so this is all looted. You know, wasn't bad. Getting the... What the heck just happened? Oh, the railing broke. Jeez, scared the crap out of me. We could uh, definitely make some more nails. We had all that smelting back at the, uh, the trap base. We could definitely get some nails. You know, craft up some more nails, and then all it is is a little bit of iron and a little bit of tender love and care, and we can make some landmines. We could easily set those up. Um, I don't really want to set them up on the street. I think I'll randomly sprinkle them. I could randomly sprinkle them throughout the the electronics store, but like that doesn't really do anything because they're just going to get shot by the turret if they even walk into any traps. I mean, we could still just skedaddle them all over it just in case they, you know, survive the SMG turret. And then if they survive the SMG turret, maybe they'll go investigate, they'll hit the electric trap, they'll step on the landmines, just a whole rigged building. We just rig the entire building. I think that's kind of cool. Just rig up the entire place. But let's get back on top of the passing gas. And uh, that's what we'll spend Horde. And then we'll do the landmines tomorrow if we have time because... They're going to know exactly where I am. And I don't want to spend too much time just crafting and placing landmines if I don't have to. What a beautiful sunset in seven days to die right before Horde. I wonder if they'll hunt me during Horde. Kind of doubt that. Oh, well. Why is it every time I go to shoot this thing, it's not loaded? Could be hunting me during Horde. I doubt it, but you never know. It could be rolling closer to here if they can. What's back there? What is that? That's a door. Some garbage. This is a really cool building. I ought to loot this place up, maybe. I guess they'll know exactly where I am, so I'd prefer not to. And will the horde even get up here for me to shoot it? I don't know. They might just rip the building apart. Fine by me, nonetheless. Um, and talking to them during horde will be really cool. And I told them that I would tell them where I am, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to tell them go to Deersville, follow the signs. Jesus Christ, that scared me. Maybe I could say, go to Deersville, follow the signs. I'll be waiting for a duel. Maybe? I mean, but like, I don't want to just... I don't want to lie. I just want them to walk right into my trap. So I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. Hi. Oh, hey. Hi. You guys you didn't. Okay? You guys didn't come and visit. We were. Uh, I'll be honest. We were kind of far, and we already had a plan that we didn't want to go away from for Horde. Makes me sad. No, we'll, we'll we'll come visit. Don't worry. Makes me sad. Where we are hard on your tracks. The only reason we aren't at you is because of what is happening right now. So. The Horde. I feel you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. As, as the only reason why. I'll tell you right now, I'm just Deersville, follow the signs, and you will, you'll, you'll find me. I thought we're, ow, ow, Oh, Deersville, okay? follow the signs, you'll find me. I'm, I'm not a good puzzler, man. I don't, I'm, I'm a great puzzler. Puzzle. But, but Christian That's can true. read for you, you're fine. I can <laughs> read, goddammit. Oh, you can read. You didn't even say you could last episode. I was unsure. I went to go get water. Thank you. Oh, okay. How do you spell water? Oh, W A T O R. Perfect. W O R T O R. Yeah. Wotor. Yes. Warder. Precisely. Warder. So you guys Warder. killing the horde this time, like me, or you just uh, sitting on the roof, or? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. Yeah. Yeah. Sitting on the roof. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. 
I have no problems with Horde Knights, so. I want to save big all brain, my energy for you. So. Wow, thanks, man. What it comes down to. Just want to give you that. a proper, a proper I attack. I surely do. Yeah, we're putting our focus into you, baby. Oh. Wow. Well, I feel so appreciated. Mm hmm You should, because we just want to give you all that tender love and care, and we have laced our bullets with love. Wow. All that, all, all that love and attention. Thanks. So when 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 they hit you and like they they mm -hmm. go like into you and the, mm -hmm. it, when when your health goes down it just means when, more love. When oh, they okay. go inside you, oh oh more my. love more love more love. <laughs> Excuse me. This is the hunt, not the hump. Okay. We need to, uh, we need to relax. Yeah. See. So wait, you're saying we shouldn't be? You waiting told me for you, you were the one the that knew how to theater? read. Come on. You, you said, you're saying we shouldn't be waiting for you at the adult film theater? No, I don't think so. But I did. Yeah, I, I did I've been spend here for like a week. I did spend the first horde at a strip club, though. Here you go, Boomer. Hey, who, my so, man. What did you think about Boomer the Bear? Was he cool? I didn't get to see him properly. No? No. Yeah, I left the rebar frames up there instead of. See again. I yeah. just was. I was really hoping you were gonna open that door, barrel ass through, hit the things, and then the the thing. If the mines didn't kill you, it was gonna blow up the stuff in the middle. You were gonna fall in, get eaten by the bear. That, that was my have been in mind. Pretty been, epic. I'm not gonna lie. I'll be honest. But I was thinking I for opened, your sake. Content I opened wise, the door and I was like, I was over full, like 12 over full. So I was waddling. So there's no uh, way I could just zoom in. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. So that happened. Freddy, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Steven Freddy. Seagal. Thanks, Steven Freddy. Seagal. I didn't see you hit Steven that follow Seagal. button. Thank you for the follow. Bro, oh, Steven yeah, Seagal's a fan. That's cool. Yeah, I know. I got He's followed great. by Steven Seagal too, Boomer. Wow. Yo, Steven Seagal's a big fan over here. Wow. Hell yeah. Maybe they'll do an adaptation of The Hunt. Oh my god. In, in real life. IRL. Maybe. Maybe. Oh my god, That'd Steven. That would be awesome. <laughs> Steven! Wait, are you talking about wa The Walking Dead? Oh my god. Mm. <laughs> kind of. But less bad. Less bad. Less I'll be honest, God, I wouldn't trash. survive. I would not survive in a Walking Dead scenario. I'd be dead first. Uh, I would have to agree with that. I'll be honest with you. I am. If we ever get to that and it's us three or whoever, you can put me down first if you have a gun. Just do it to the back of my head so I don't know what's coming. You, 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 you can take me out and use my meat. have watched plenty of meat eaters to survive. We'll have no problem. Yeah, we just we would just go me, where there's no population of human beings whatsoever and hunt and survive. Maybe Boomer would be fine. Have, Boomer would be the base bitch, IRL. <laughs> I'd be perfectly fine with that. He, he would have to make sure everything's the in stay order. At home me and Jared will go out during and the hunt. zombie apocalypse. I would I would welcome that because I would be useless <laughs> out, out on the outskirts. Just I'd be Boomer, absolutely useless. Boomer's main weapon would be a Louisville Slugger, though. Hmm. Mm. Mm. There is a main Hell character yeah. in Walking Dead that uses one. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Minion? I know her name. I know her name. I know her it's name. It's actually a guy, but... Um, I know her name. Or his name? I thought it was a girl. Negan, right? Clearly you don't. It's Negan. I, ne yes. I'm, I'm saying you're, it a thousand times. You're, you're thinking... I'll be honest with you. I thought Negan was a girl. Stop ignoring me. It's Negan.